am Joe from Utica, New York. But you already knew that. All right, I'm a level five, that's right. You know, uh, coffee makes me think of getting a cup of coffee tattooed on my tongue. Uh, and my hobbies are getting tattoos, yes please, and I like to drink coffee with milk and sugar. Is that weird? Sue me. Listen, we are now going to hook somebody up with a date. We have our first contestant here who is going to find love for sure. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Lori, level three. Nice. Louisville, Kentucky. Very nice. Uh, coffee makes me think of a uh, great hotel. Okay. Uh, great hotel friends. Sure, yeah. <laughs> that, sure. that was an edit, guys. Okay, sure. Uh, and coffee also makes me think of um, <laughs> drinking coffee. Okay, that, nice. that makes sense, yeah. My hobbies are wine, because I drink it too. Yep. And, and I like to drink coffee uh, with a grumble, because that, makes, uh, that means that I'm up too early. That's oh. right, I get things done. All right, all right, you are looking for love in all the right places. We have got some wonderful contestants here for you today. So why don't you step over here behind the secret curtain here so you can't see any of these contestants. We are going to introduce contestant number one for you here right now. Go ahead, contestant number one. My name's Dakota. I'm a level five, I'm from Brandon, Florida, and my hobby is truth or dare. Oh, wow. Mm. Wow, that sounds like a match already, but nonetheless, I will go ahead and introduce contestant number two. My name's Sheila, I'm from Lenexa, Kansas, and I love, I'm a nut for crafting. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, 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 contestant number three, please. I'm Lisa, I'm from Chicago, Illinois. I'm a level two, so obviously, I like to lead tourists into traffic. Oh, <laughs> all right, all right, excellent. So let's start off with a little bit of a, the query section that I like to call. How about you go ahead and ask all the contestants your uh, question number one. Okay, right. if I were a wine that was being drank in the morning time, what would I taste like? Oh, very good question. All right, contestant number one, if he were or she were a wine that was drank in the morning time, what would she taste like? Truth, she would be a glass of fine, fine Chardonnay, as crisp as the morning sunlight, as bright as a fresh new promise of a day. Oh and I would God. dare her to drink that wine along with me. <laughs> okay, okay, we got a regular Billy Shakespeare. All right, contestant number two. Uh, you would taste like, it would be uh, some nice wood that I had honed down from a hunk of driftwood and turned into a pretty little uh, piece of driftwood with a little seagull on it. Uh, and you would taste like the ocean in the great Pacific Northwest, which is my favorite place to go and oh. it's what I love to do. Oh, wow. okay. Um, so, those things. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent. And then, we, then we'd make a sailboat together. Oh, wow, wow, wow. That's Arts and good. crafts, Arts, love it. Arts and crafts. All right, contestant number three. Well, in lieu of answering, I'd like to ask Sheila a question. Perfect. Being from Lenexa, Kansas, I wonder if you know that your mailing address actually says Shawnee Mission. I didn't. No wow. wonder I don't get my mail. Wow, wow, okay. Trinity, you just saw 20 years worth of lost letters. It's true, it Shawnee tough. Mission is a mailing district, but not an actual uh, city. That, that oh. makes a lot of sense, that makes a lot of Do sense. Do they want to go on a date? And I could just go with the first guy? Because he sounds like uh, he would be a great hotel friend. All right, Truth. let's find out. Let's, I am. Let's find out. Contestant number two, do you want to go on a date with contestant number three? Oh, my gosh. Uh, I don't know. Please. I need a new best friend. Please. Are you up for it, Lisa? I am in. Consider me in. Okay. As, lo as long as we put soy milk in our coffee. Ooh, oh, I love cream, even if it's made of soy. Oh! 